So I was walking around Vintage at AirVenture 2022 and was struck by this gorgeous aircraft. I remember I had inverted Jenny stamps as a kid. Could you tell me a little bit about this restoration project? The project started in 2017 with a joint venture between EAA Chapter 1414 at Poplar Grove Airport and the Vintage Wings and Wheels Museum. The two entities got together and wanted to build a flying aircraft that represented something iconic in aviation and we felt that the Jenny was the perfect aircraft. It, we refer to it as the aircraft that taught America to fly. It was the first mass-produced aircraft and so the idea was thrown out there and over five years we built it. 22,000 volunteer man hours to build the airplane. We were able to acquire 1,200 of the original drawings of Curtis's original drawings and we built the airplane off of those drawings staying as true as we possibly could to the drawings themselves. We had volunteers coming and going helping out and Don Perry who was our lead builder on the project always made sure there was meaningful work for volunteers when they came in and that we had materials and equipment to get the job done. From that point, we started building components of the aircraft. We had teams building the empennage, we had teams building the wings and the fuselage, and then as those products began to get completed, they would come together and then we would work together on the project, putting the airplane together, uncovered, mm -hmm. checked it, rigged it, and then we brought it back in, disassembled it, covered, painted, and then finally ended up with an airplane. The engine was a whole nother project. We had another team working on the engine. It's an original 1918 Curtis OX-5. That engine was in many pieces when we got it and had to be completely disassembled, overhauled, and put back together. Now what about bringing this here to AirVenture? You're coming from Illinois. Tell me about the transit of this 1918 aircraft. It was a lot of fun. I flew Chase in a 1953 Cessna 170, and it took us about two hours from Poplar Grove. We made one stop at Hartford Airport in Wisconsin just to make sure we had fuel and we did come in a week early so we didn't fly the VFR arrival. We ended up landing at Pioneer Airport on the grass. The aircraft has no brakes, it has no tail wheel, it's on a tail skid so it has to be operated off of a grass runway. So EAA made it available for us to land at Pioneer then we were able to tug it to its hangar for the week and then out here to the flight line for the rest of the week. Well, you've certainly done a gorgeous job with this restoration. Thank you, Steve. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Compare Aviation 6.2 is a fast, roomy, composite sport plane. 185 knots, six seats, tri-gear or floats, and carbon fiber strength. This is a no-excuses airplane. 52-inch wide cabin with baggage space, 325 horsepower Lycoming power, 2,000 pound useful load, 840 nautical mile range with reserve, a 62-knot stall, and a service ceiling of 15,700 feet. Check out the 6.2 at CompAirAviation.com.